How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. Ni hao. I am your host, Phase Crypto. And of course, today, the subject of the video in this series of videos that we are making for the end of the year is, of course, going to be Cardano. And what sort of end of the year video would this be if we didn't start off with 2019 crypto returns? And right at the top, we've got Chainlink uh, coming out at the top with 512%. Um, and I mean, I know Cardano's down here at the uh, you know negative 22 two percent uh, you know a fine sale if you ask me uh, you now Bitcoin 125 um, and what I wanted to discuss uh, you know when it comes to chain link uh, I mean you think about it um, and you know we want to talk about like uh, product uh, authenticity and, um, and you know of course uh, which crypto is actually chosen um, you know when it comes to uh, you know product authenticity um, then uh, of course what we saw earlier happening in the year um, you know new balance uh, to confirm Cardano block blockchain to confirm product authenticity uh, and it does it is sort of a proof for the Cardano blockchain and of course when we're going to be looking at uh, a lot of these different things that'll be happening um, you know of course uh, that you know it will be interesting to see um, you know how uh, we see uh, you know, a lot of these different um, variables uh, you know I, and I wanted to talk about uh, you know chain link I wanted to talk about uh, Cardano and uh, what we're seeing with companies right now that are starting to notice um, that you know they I mean it, it, the th fact of the matter is that it's going to be the the wallet uh, speaks louder um, than any sort of uh, philosophical principle that I could convey in any sort of YouTube video uh, the, the true uh, you know nitty-gritty gritty sort of um, fact to the matter sort of stuff here uh, it really all breaks down to um, once companies realize uh, which they already have in, in part realized how much money they could save uh, you know by using blockchain uh, I mean that's ultimately going to be uh, you know a very big uh, you know important aspect of a lot of these different things and I would say uh, you know in the age of uh, you know talking about um, Bitcoin killers and uh, you know talking about all these different things uh, I mean the Forbes article is not gonna let me watch uh, you know read this article but we get the idea from the headline here I don't like to give uh, these uh, legacy media sort of uh, I don't shut off my ad block for them just so I can read an article you know that's not the sort of internet that I want to exist in um, and of course when we want to talk about you know ownership of your own data uh, you know the actual sort of internet that we all want um, and know and love and remember you know from the early 2000s uh, that will be very interesting to see how uh, we see that uh, the internet evolving over the next decade uh, it's a dramatically different internet uh, in 2000s and 10s um, you know, now moving into the 2020s almost completely unrecognizable one thing that's happened is we have more people uh, <laughs> using it I mean but uh, in the same sense with the masses of people comes a shift in the overall tone um, you know in the conversations that are happening and this is um, in part going to be a microcosm of what I believe to be um, the, the cryptocurrency sort of revolution is in those sort of early underground uh, internet stages uh, and it's interesting to see because at one point people were looking at the internet itself as sort of an indie sort of underground thing and then what happened well now your grandma's using it um, now your mom you know your, your dad uh, you know you're an 80 year old boomer whatever what have you all these people are on the internet and it's very much the same situation that we will be seeing uh, technology that has potential to function in the real world will inevitably replace the obsolescence of the past uh, so one million dollar bond to keep alleged uh, North Korea sanction uh, you know this is interesting I mean, we'll be keeping up on this uh, you know arrested for educating North Korea on crypto and blockchain uh, <laughs> I mean I don't know just I'm not gonna really get too big into that I don't really like to get into international um, you know business it's sort of dirty uh, dirty content and what with especially we've been seeing a lot of uh, cryptocurrency content creators uh, you know having their videos removed not gonna get into that sort of um, you know uh, field of conversation until we have a bit more confirmation on that end um, but year-to-date uh, Bitcoin is uh, more than double in price 
uh, now of course uh, however um, much more uh, was expected from price action given how stellar the performance was in the first half of what is turning out to be a mixed year going into 2020 experts together with uh, supportive data drawn from um, Derbit a cryptocurrency uh, derivatives trading platform the upcoming year uh, could offer more opportunities judging from the overwhelming number of Bitcoin call options in the last 24 hours alone um, they have experienced by far um, the most volume uh, so uh, you know it will be interesting to see how um, we see Bitcoin I mean in, in the short term if I were to make a prediction now of course remember um, this video is for entertainment education purposes only now of course I'm not your dad I'm not your financial advisor this video is just my opinion and my opinion stands I mean, I'm allowed to get you know I'm entitled to give out my opinion what that um, you know opinion uh, actually is um, is the, that I would say in the short term uh, I don't expect to see uh, Bitcoin uh, maintaining this seven thousand dollar level uh, very much into 2020 I, I would say um, that uh, would I mean I didn't even expect us to have uh, this mini what I would term as a sort of a dead cat bounce of uh, you know, what we were uh, able to get I mean for people who were able to fill their pockets uh, mail more power to you but I would say uh, I mean you, you just have to be wise uh, and I always expect to the worst uh, you know even when things are better um, but uh, bitcoins purported to creator says uh, future uh, whatever uh, may remain locked um, uh, all right um, so Chainlink maintains parabolic trend line. Um, yeah, that's uh, interesting, and it does have a parallel to Cardano, which I already sort of uh, touched upon. Um, we will be discussing that uh, during the live stream. Um, but uh, Crypto uh, Titan calls to 12K uh, boom. Um, yeah, this article right here, I guess, is worth uh, just slightly uh, looking at. Um, so I suppose we will uh, check it out. Uh, so I mean. Um, you know we're looking at an interesting year i would say um, you know when we want to talk about what's going to happen with cardano i mean i, I have an interesting decade up ahead um, you now what i always uh, like to um, point to is um, you know the parts of the world that are going to be experiencing a big population boom um, namely like africa and a lot of these different parts of the world and i would say um, we're due uh, on the precipice of uh, what i would call a perfect storm where uh, you know there's certain parts of the world where people are unbanked they have a um, supply and they have a supply of people who are unbanked and they have a demand to get them on the uh, you know banking especially while many people in uh, these different areas of the world aforementioned um, certainly do have uh, access to the internet now um, due to uh, smartphones and this is only going to increase um, you know, with 5g and all these other things so it's going to be very interesting to see uh, how a lot of these different dynamics continue to evolve and I would say that it's going to put a lot of um, unforeseen actors up ahead of the curve while a lot of um, what we would term to be the successors of the past paradigm uh, the uh, you know the you know Western parts of the world and what have you uh, will probably be falling by the wayside um, and I would predict uh, in the upcoming paradigm uh, shift of course due to the fact that Cardano uh, and in uh, the like uh, many of the cryptocurrency space uh, you know in blockchain revolution all these different things um, you know, sort of uh, all culminating in a way um, that I would say you know a smart person who's been paying attention to these things um, it'll be interesting to see it nonetheless so Cardano decentralized public blockchain a cryptocurrency project fully open source um, now open source you know I would say it will be interesting to see um, you know how the sort of uh, you know scientific uh, f foundation that Cardano has laid down for itself um, you know a lot of these different aspects uh, will be playing a very interesting role um, and uh, you know how we'll be seeing you know uh, miners control 70% of the BTC hash rate how we're going to be seeing um, big tech uh, you know evolving over the next year uh, it's a very exciting time and um, now of course uh, like I always say make sure you guys comment down below uh, letting us know know what part of the world you're actually watching this from uh, you know in the last video we had some people from Germany Canada uh, Australia uh, New Zealand uh, so you know it always is interesting to see uh, where you guys hail from uh, you know watching this content and what sort of uh, perspectives that you guys have and how do they treat cryptocurrency in your uh, country that's also a very interesting piece of information it's in it's uh, something I could look up but it's more interesting to me to actually hear it um, from uh, people who are from that part of the world as well so uh, last week the Cardano Foundation released uh, Shelley's incentivized testnet which was an uh, entire new software based on 
Uh, you know, so this will be interesting. You know, Charles Hopkinson, everybody's paying very close attention to this. Um, now, quote, it's going to be a little rocky for the first few weeks, as expected. First, because we launched so close to Christmas, it means that we're running on a skeleton crew, so we can't fix things or get things turned around. So we'll see um, now where uh, that actually goes um, now from here on out as things continue to develop. Um, but all that being said, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this content. Make sure that you guys subscribe, uh, comment down below, and let us know what you guys think. Um, now thumbs up and all that hope you guys have enjoyed this content see you guys next one have a good one